Hello and welcome again to Vido Feasts and today we're going to make cheese souffles. And of course for these you will need cheese and here we're using a nice vintage cheddar, best we can find here. A little bit of mustard powder, uh, some onion, cream and milk, flour, cinnamon, paprika, all sorts of spices. Nutmeg. Not cinnamon. Nutmeg. This gives extra to the flavour. And here we're demonstrating our little whole nutmegs with the grater. So, first of all, you'll have to separate the eggs, the yolks, from the whites. And there are various ways of doing this. You can buy bits of equipment. You can use the patented shell method here. Or, as the VW will demonstrate shortly, you can actually just use the hand method. And just let the yolks sit in your palm and the white slip through your fingers. There you go. But you just want to make sure you have no yolk in the white. Then to the white, we're going to whisk these um, up to soft peaks. So this isn't uh, quite as much as you would do for a meringue when you put in some sugar and you get to hard, stiff peaks where you can hold the bowl up over your head. Here we're going to sort of softer peaks, but important to get plenty of air into this. That will add to the lightness of the souffle. And all we're doing today is a twice-to-bake souffle. So this is one you can prepare before your dinner party and then just zhuzh right at the last minute. Try and keep your whites in the bowl rather than spraying them around the kitchen. Then just give the yolks a quick mix too. So, taking the yolks, we're going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to mix in that beautiful cheese. Just get it stirred around. You can see you have nice golden yolks, really fresh eggs. Keep a little bit of cheese back for the end because we're going to uh, use that when we bake them the second time. Just incorporating that so it's all mixed together. Right, now we have uh, the milk. Create a little bit of the nutmeg into that. Helps add to the flavour. And then place in a slice of onion. Here we're using the big white Spanish onions. Again, we're just trying to give a little bit of sort of oniony flavour to the milk. Then bring it up to the boil. In another pan, we're going to um, add some butter, get that melting. As you can see, we've turbocharged the VW again. Once you've got it all nice, soft and melted, then you're going to introduce your flour. Technically what you're making here is a roux, so don't add it all at once because otherwise you'll get claggy lumps. And just slowly add the flour and we've got a little bit more seasoning in there as well, just give it a bit more flavour. A roux of course is a classic French technique and is the base for a large number of sauces. And technically we're making a bit of a white sauce here. And then we add the milk to uh, that roux. And as you can see, you get a nice creamy sauce. Again, you can do it in a pan if you've got the necessary skills. Or there are saucières, little rotating uh, devices you can add all these to a mix. See, we're leaving the onion in the pan. The onion doesn't go into the final thing, but just adds a bit of flavour to that milk. Okay, in the sauce goes into with the yolks and the cheese. As you can see, we let it cool down a little bit, otherwise we are going to just cook the eggs. And we don't want to cook the eggs yet. Just end up with scrambled egg. Then add slowly the 
yolks and cheese and roux mix to those whites. Don't mix it too hard or you'll get you'll lose all that wonderful air that you had beaten in. So just gently fold it round uh, to incorporate and mix properly. And as you can see we're still keeping it nice and fluffy. Make sure you get every last bit of that lovely mixture. And then we're going to bake these souffles for the first time. So we're using a bain-marie, which is a water bath. And so in a deep baking tray we have the water and a series of individual serving ramekins to which we are going to add that mixture. If you want to use the whole mixture we reckon you've probably got enough for eight and divide up evenly between all of them. Obviously you want to get nice little ramekins. We, uh, we bought these new. I did have a collection of ramekins that came with chocolate puddings so once you eat the chocolate pudding you had the ramekin left. But you need ramekins in your life. Everything's better in a ramekin. Servings of pate, souffles, beans if you're a fussy child. They can be served separately in a ramekin so they don't touch the other food. I was amazed when I first saw that. Beans separate? Who would have thought? Anyway, I digress. So we have e evenly divided up that wonderful souffle mixture and we're going to go for our first cook and we place it into a, a nice hot oven to get them to rise. This is the thing you can do maybe a day before or maybe the morning of. Then you can put them aside to do the second cook just before you need them. So after that first cook, you see they come out of the oven, they are wonderful and fluffy and risen. Don't get too excited unfortunately because they don't stay like this. If you're only going to cook them once, you have to serve them immediately and they stay nice and fluffy. But unfortunately, as they cool down, they go flatter. So don't be alarmed if you're left with something like this. But let them cool down properly. Um, and you uh, then add them to one side for when you need them. And we do need them now, so what we're going to do is we're going to gently ease uh, the souffle out of the ramekin. Remembering that we've buttered these ramekins beforehand just to make this extra easy. And we're going to do two. So, two uh, souffles. Just onto our beautiful little individual baking tray. To that we're going to add some cream because it's not rich enough already and tend to sort of soak into the souffle and then a final dash of cheese on the top last chance to get a little bit more seasoning on salt and pepper and then back in the oven and ready to serve straight from the oven. VW's always decided I don't have enough cholesterol in my diet so a little bit more cream is needed. After the second bake you are left with something like this. Beautiful and fluffy, lovely and cheesy. Very, very hot. Cheese souffle. Enjoy.